Welcome to Manitoba Bushcrafting and Reviews. Uh, I got a package in that I've been waiting for, a few little knickknacks. But uh, yeah, let's dig into this and I'll show you what it is. I got this from Mill Spec Deals on eBay. So check them out if you want. Uh, if you want to shop for like tactical stuff. He didn't have much on there, but he probably does get newer things. One second, I'll open it and then I'll come right back. Okay, I opened it, haven't looked in it yet, so let's just see if I got what I ordered. Oh yeah! If you guys aren't familiar with these, these are called Grimlocks. They are tiny little military carabiners made by ITW Nexus as you can see right there and these are in the multicam 499 color so this is what you'd be using with your multicam camo uh, they're very handy they have a breakaway strength of 80 pounds so if there's 80 pounds of pressure applied they just break away which is decent because like if you're running through the forest and you get snagged on something with one of these it'll just come apart and you're not going to get hung up. Uh, I will be doing a video on showing you how to tell if these are a fake one or a real one. Obviously the real ones have ITW Nexus NA on them and the NA stands for North America so I've read. And uh, these these uh, little slots here, this slot, that, that goes through your molly webbing or pals webbing and it hangs on there like that. Uh, pretty good retention on that. Um, they only open to about there, which is another way to tell if it's an authentic or a fake, because a fake will open all the way, it'll just swing right down as far as it can go, but the legit ones only swing that far open. So, oh, I gotta push the button. Um, yeah, I will be doing videos on uh, how, how to use these probably within the next, I'd say, week, because I ordered some knockoff ones on purpose just to do a comparison. So, uh, this is a Grimlock. <clears throat> They're really small. As you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand. Uh, what's that say on the other side there? That says, non-load bearing. So, I don't know what that means. Obviously, it can't handle, like, heavy, heavy, heavy th things, you, it wouldn't hold your body weight, but for like attaching a hydration bladder, which like if you look at the FILBE hydration uh, carrier, it's got little loops on the side and usually comes with some of these ITW Nexus Grimlocks, but yeah, ITW Nexus is uh, top of the line company for buckles and uh, sliders and stuff like that and car little carabiner d-rings like these uh for uh for the military most military packs use itw nexus buckles and stuff so i got eight of them here i think one two three four five six seven eight yes eight of them and uh when i was looking at them online they had like a pack of two for Seven bucks, which is reasonable. Okay, seven bucks for two carabiners, but then it was like fifty-two dollars uh, shipping and handling. So I had to hunt around and wait for these to come up, and I'm I'm pretty happy I waited because I got eight of them. So I might sell a few just to see if they sell because they're hard to find in Canada. But yeah. Anyhow, if you guys like this video, click like. If you want to share it, share it. If you want to comment down below go for it and definitely subscribe for upcoming videos on these and on the fakes to tell the difference so you're not getting ripped off i will do a video of the fakes with these side by side so yeah but obviously itw nexus will be written on the legit ones and there's other ways to tell that i'll go through in a separate video or maybe i'll merge it with this one depending on how soon the chinese knockoffs get here Okay, see you guys. Okay, so, um, just a little small video to add to the end of this. I know it's going on forever, but 
Uh, I just wanted to show the the strength of these Grimlocks. I I have a, a Benjamin Trail air rifle. I've done a video on it on my channel. Uh, it's way back there. I do not have a sling, so what I do is I just take the end of this here and I clip it on with the Grimlock. If any of you have ever held a Benjamin Trail, they're roughly nine pound, pounds yeah, for this air rifle. It's got zero recoil, but yeah, if I hook it on to there, it just stays with, with the Grimlock. And that, that way I can shoulder my weapon and I can just let it dangle, I can jump, it's not going to come off. So that shows you kind of the strength of these carabiners because that's nine pounds dead weight just hanging there swinging all over the place, bouncing up and down. So when it like bounces up and, <coughs> and goes down it's more than nine pounds of force, uh, I would think. Um, but yeah, and then it's easy to take it off. Say I want to get it off right away. <laughs> Sorry, that took a little long, but uh, yeah, it just comes right off usually pretty quickly. But uh, I'm in a small porch right now, so, so it took a little while. Uh, but that that rifle's nine pounds. It can handle that, so. That just gives you a reference on what you could carry using these uh, Grimlocks. That's just one of them. If you're carrying a water bladder, like a hydration system, and you're using all four Grimlocks, uh, you you don't have to worry about that coming off at all. That's not going anywhere. Anyhow, I thought I'd throw that in at the end of this video. So, see you guys later. Hey. Uh... I decided I might as well throw this in, show you how to put one on. Uh, there's no guarantee that I'm actually going to be able to do this with one hand, and I do not have a tripod. But the basic trick to it is to get sorry is to get this on first, which it's sliding on now. Oops, sorry. Uh, out of frame and my battery on my phone's gonna die okay so we got it that far and I just tuck it I try and tuck it in you might not be able to see this here. I'll do it with my dominant hand so tuck it down in there and then slide it It just pops on like that. And the reason I want this on my IFAC is because these zippers open sometimes when I'm like laying in a prone position or sometimes even just when I'm walking walking around. So I'm going to stick this here. Oops. Okay, and then I'm just going to. Oops. Sorry, guys. Once again, it's like really a pain to do anything with one hand. So yeah, now that's on there. Now my zipper should only open a max of like that instead of coming right undone. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. But at least I showed you how to put one on. Uh, I have another one, as you've seen in the clip before, up where... You'd attach a, a breech shotgun on one of these. It's on the other side, but whatever. Um, and then I got one holding my gloves on on this side. Right there. So, yeah, if I need my gloves really quickly, I just can clip them on and off. And, uh, yeah, this, this vest actually uses ITW Nexus uh, buckles. So, they match by manufacturer, not by color, because this is uh, Multicam 499 Tan is the, the actual name of it. So, 
it's a it's slightly different than coyote it's got more of a greeny brown color when you see it in like true lighting it's kind of like a greeny brown but uh yeah and uh yeah. we will should i take it off or shouldn't i uh i just wanted to show you some things that that you can tell like whether or not it's a fake but i guess i'll save that for when i do actually get the fakes okay so thank you for watching and you know the drill subscribe if you want to see some more anyhow but sorry i totally forgot to mention and it, it should be noted that uh the ebay seller um still has these in stock and that they are roughly $14 Canadian for eight of them and then there's like $13 Canadian shipping and handling and uh, that's pretty decent when like I said before you, there's like one or two Grimlocks that you can get and it's like anywhere from five to seven dollars but then there's $53 Canadian shipping on top of that so that those are scams don't bother going through them uh, this guy, he's got a reasonable price for eight. I, I would say fourteen's a fair price for eight. And uh, yeah, watch out for the the uh, trick Grimlocks too. The fakes, they're usually like four dollars or sometimes even ninety nine cents. The ones I picked up were like ninety nine cents a piece. And I'm gonna do a comparison on them. I w I will do that for you guys in a later video. But uh, yeah. Uh, He's got them in, in this uh, multi-cam 499 tan, and then he's got some in coyote tan. I do believe he's got some in some other colors too. He might be sold out. But uh, check them out, because as of filming, they're still on there on eBay. Uh, and his store is... One second. <clears throat> yeah, here's all his info. So I'll just let you have a second to look at that. Anyhow, yeah, check him out. He's also got ITW Nexus buckles, uh, one inch ones and two inch ones, I do believe, or 1.5 inch. And then he he sells rolls <coughs> of one inch webbing in case you want to do your own pals set, set up on a pack that might not have pals or anything like that. But anyhow, he's he sells stuff like that. So check him out. Okay, bye guys.